One thing that's fascinating is the fact that, you know, when you're talking about wanting to change the world, a lot of people that have that intention go into the production end of stuff because they still see themselves as kind of on the side of the pool. You know, they would take pictures of the pool. They would describe the <laughs> pool. But you decided, no, I'm going to jump into the pool. Yeah, immerse. You know, and, and, and get right yeah. into the middle of it to become the actor because you're saying you want to be the change. And if you're still filming, you can't be the change. You have to be there in front and be out front to do it. So I applaud you for that. I think that's it's such an interesting choice because so yeah. many people choose production and you chose to jump in the acting. That's fascinating. Well, you know, um, Stu, I worked in a, a process, um, like through the PhD dissertation, I worked with a research design which is really new in terms of, it's called organic design. And with that kind of design, when I was doing my research, I had to, as part of the research design, I had to partner with spirit every day. I had to find ways and uh, work with spirit every day. And um, so basically, connect with God or creative source energy, whatever word that you want to talk about, that creative um, energy that comes through. And then working with, messages that I would receive through signs, through dreams. I would then follow them and allow um, working with that illogical, irrational part of the world um, to inform my journey. So I, I can't really take credit for uh, thinking about jumping in as an actor. It was really mm -hmm. through watching my dreams, watching my signs, and, and then just following it, and then yet yeah, taking responsibility for, for following the signs that I ended up you know, immersed in it, which, it, and I had no idea of the brilliance of that design while I was doing it. Again, it, and it, in fact, even until I entered this competition, I, I didn't even understand. I was thinking, why am I being sent to acting school? This is ridiculous. You know, and I, when I end up there, I'm a 45 year old therapist in school with 19 year olds and 18 year olds mm -hmm. going, what am I doing here? I had not a clue what I was doing there, but I was determined, you know, to just keep following and keep learning to the best of my ability and and you know, continually being blown away by what it takes to be an, an actor um, and an artist to that degree. And, and then when I entered this competition, it started to become really clear. Like it was, you know, the very first thing we had to do was we had to uh, create either a video, a video or an audio uh, to, uh, you know, give a very quick snippet of our message. And as soon as I was doing that video, that very first video, I realized, oh my gosh, I can, I can use all those skills that I learned in acting school to put this message through on the video. So I'm sitting there trying to remember everything I learned in acting school <laughs> to, do the, to do the message for, right. the, for the book. And I, all of a sudden, I just thought, you know, I just had to thank the angels and say, my God, you guys are brilliant, you know, to stick me in acting school because I knew how to work the camera. <laughs> 